What's up everybody? Jason with HOJ Forge today. Making a, I don't know what it's called, some kind of candle holder. Alright, before we get to that, a uh, quick reminder, I'll put a link up in the corner here to uh, the GoFundMe for the Anvil Fund. Um, yeah, help if you want, can, feel led. If not, let's get to the video. Hey, look what I picked up today. I was off uh, visiting a, uh, another local, somewhat local smith, uh, Dave McConnell from Northwoods Forge in Kalkaska, Michigan. And uh, the guy makes hammers. And so, hey look, Jason has a real hammer, a uh, square rounding hammer, which seems like an oxymoron to me, but I couldn't help it, I had to get it, and we're going to try it out on this. So I posted a picture of uh, this candle holder, I, I did it for uh, my upcoming show, and uh, someone said, hey, how do you get all the uh, curls so tight in there? Um, no secret, this is actually a really simple project, and uh, yeah, great for beginners. All you need is some round stock. Let's fire up the forge and get to it. So I'm starting off with 48 inches of quarter inch round stock. Why quarter inch and 48 inches? Because it's what I have. Um, you can make them any size you want, out of any size stock you want. Um, I've done them out of 3 8 Was it 3 Yeah, 3 8 And I tried one out of something a little smaller, 3 16 maybe. Um, that one didn't come out so well. I think quarter inch is about right. So, nice thing about this, uh, you can heat it up with a, a torch if you need to. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of heat for what we're going to do. I'm already forging, so we're going to use the forge, but uh, real easy project. Let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is uh, draw the end out, put a point on it, and that's going to be eh, maybe about an inch we'll draw out. And, uh, that's going to be what holds the candle in place. Now for the first pen. You can measure everything out. I just eyeball it. You want about an inch and a quarter or so. And we're just going to do a 90 degree bend on it. Like that. And that's what's going to hold the candle. So now we got to start the twist. This is always going to stay pointing up. So we're going to start the twist. If you lay it flat on the anvil and just slip it over the edge, that's where we're going to start the twist for, uh, for the coil here. First one is the hardest. So flat on the anvil like that. Don't twist it anymore. And just take it right off the edge. my heat already. Okay, so there's the first twist. That's not straight anymore, but I'll show you how to straighten that up in a second using the, uh, the Pritchel hole. Okay, so with the first twist in there, we're going to do it again. until we have that little curly Q guy. And then, we'll do it again.
You want to try and get these first ones as round as you can, because that's sort of going to set the tone for everything else. When you put it in the fire, always keep that pointed up, because uh, that little point will want to burn real fast. Okay, so now it's starting to want to wobble a little bit, not go straight anymore. So now we're going to use the uh, pritchel hole and flatten everything out, and that's going to straighten up that point at the same time. Now all we're going to do is put it upside down, put that point down into the pritchel hole, and then flatten everything out. And you can sort of knock that point where you need it. We can always go back in and uh, straighten that up later, but now it's flat again, so let's keep twisting. I don't know if you can see the gap there. You're going to get that every time you fold it. So that's when I hit it on the top. And it just closes that gap up. So it's not quite as big. And that's how I keep it real tight like that. I'm going to keep going until I have about 18 inches left that aren't curled up and that's what I'm going to turn into the handle. Which for me is, uh, my anvil's 19 inches so just about an inch back. So maybe one more heat on the curl. If you're looking for consistency, get a tape measure and you know, do it right, but for just a one-off, just a little craft show thingy my bobber. pretty good. So now, um, it's not quite flat all the way around, even though we've been working it, because what we've been working it at different temperatures, so I'm going to heat the whole base up, I'm going to straighten up that point, and I'm going to pit, since my pritchel hole is way over here, and I can only do like half at a time, I'm just going to use the hardy hole. To flatten that, get it as flat as I can so it doesn't wobble when it sits, and uh, we'll get that part all done. Up. That's pretty good. So now we need to bend the handle. Okay, you're gonna want a good heat on this one, and what we're gonna do is just hold that. 
the best we can. We want it straight up and down. As close to it. Yeah, I mean, it's aesthetics. Do it however you want, but I go straight up and down. All right, gonna quench this part. So now I can hold on to this. And we're going to draw this out and taper it a little bit. And I'm going to do a flat taper. You can leave it like that where it's wider. You can leave it like that where it's wider on the end. Uh, I've seen some people that like that. I don't. I'm going to make everything the same way. I'm just going to put a little curly Q in here. You can forge it, you can use needle nose pliers, you can do whatever you want. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is put a bend about 90 degrees, just a few inches up. Just, just quench the end of the little scroll I put in right there. We may have to adjust that but now we're gonna figure out about where our halfway point is and then we're gonna bend this down and around until it matches up with the bottom. And then we also want to get this in line. So that it's a straight shot. That looks pretty good. And now this little tail is hanging down too far, so we're just going to bend that up just a little bit more. What you want is the candle holder to sit flat with this. It can either be touching or almost touching, and this one is just touching right now. Once the candle is on, quite super duper flat but pretty close so next wire brush it and then uh, we'll put some wax on it I'm using the smaller wire brush on this one just so that I have less chance of uh, moving any of my bends If it bursts into flames when you put the beeswax on, you know it's still too hot. Whew! Alright, there she is. Uh, real easy. Real simple. Lots of fun. And people seem to like them. So hopefully this video helped out uh, the person that asked for it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video.